the juggling clubs, they manufacture these things to be balanced. So the center of mass in the club, it's like right in the middle of the club. I mean, look how evenly that flips, right? Most objects that don't make them to be thrown across, so their centers of masses are all over the place. And I have an example, but I need some help from somebody in the audience. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a quiet, quiet child. Oh, we're just gonna enjoy this for a second. No, I need to go. You seem very fast with your hands. I'm gonna have you hold on to those, all right? I'll take this. And um, what's your name? Corinne? Corinne? Corinne, you just got capped. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're going to pull up to that, too. All right, Corinne, I'm going to get to you in just a second, all right? Hold on to those juggling clubs. All right, now check it out. All right, this shovel, this shovel is not balanced like the clubs. The center of mass is not right in the middle because there's more mass over here, right? Metal is denser than wood, and there's just there's more metal over here because you got the spade, the shovel. So as I take the shovel and I throw it into the air, if you look closely, you can find the center of mass of the shovel. So look really closely and ask somebody to see if they can find it, all right? It's the point which everything else is rotating around. Obviously, it's not this end. This end is the furthest away from the center of mass. You can see it moves in a giant arc, right? And just to make sure all the kids get a really good look, here we go. So you can look really closely. No, I'm kidding! I'm joking. <laughs> all right, I'll flip this thing a few times. If you can spot the center of mass, Raise your hand, I'm gonna ask somebody if they can get it. This one's tricky, you really have to observe, all right? Look really closely at the parts of the shovel. Find the part that everything is flipping around, the part that's not moving in an arc. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, she seems pretty confident. What do you think? Where do you think the center mass is? Well, wait, the, there's a lot of metal, it's a single point. Where do you think? Point to one. In the middle, you think it's like right here? Well, let's watch, let's watch, all right? Let's look right here and see if this stays still, all right? I can tell you it's not good. It's gonna move in an arc. Check it out, watch. You can see it moved around a little bit. All right, let's see. All right, let's, all right, orange shirt, here's your chance. Where do you think the center of mass is? No, you're a little further off. We got one right here, one right here. Where do you think it is? Yeah, you're pretty close, you're pretty close. It's right about there, that's exactly right. And look, look, if you look at this point right here in the shovel, you'll see everything else is spinning around it. Watch, throw it in the air, spin around it like that. If I take a couple of fingers and put it under that point and let go, boom, the shovel will bounce, right? And there's a name for this point. It's called a balance point in an object. And you can balance an object as long as the center of mass is on top of your balance point. So right now we got the horizontal balance point of the shovel. If I take a couple of fingers and put them here, take the center of mass and put them on top of the fingers, you can balance it like that as well. As long as your center of mass is on top of your balance point, you can balance your object. Just like that. Yeah, I've even been messing around with like this point right here. Check it out. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh gosh, that's stuff. That one's stuff. Hold on, one more try. Here we go. Oh, that's close, that's close. So, the further away your center of mass is from your balance point, the easier it is to balance, right? So this is the easiest part. But look, I'm the professional zaniac. It is not that difficult to balance a shovel on your fingertips. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this shovel. I'm going to balance it on my foot. I am going to kick this shovel from my foot. It'll fly through the air for a split second. And then I'm going to attempt to catch the shovel in a gun. Catching the shovel with the face. It's not a showstopper, but man, it slows it down. Professional Zaniac postcard. That is for you, Corinne. <laughs> there we go. Let's give Corinne a round of applause. Uh, maintaining the vertical balance point of the shelf. So I gotta keep the balance point under the center of mass this entire time. At the same time, I will rotate the three clubs around their center of mass. <laughs> Like a 
scarecrow in a blender, like a teenager awkwardly moving through puberty. <laughs> but it does take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication and practice oh, to get this good. <sighs> And that's the reason I have never had a girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> that is not the only reason. <laughs> you guys want to know what the real reason is? It's because my wife won't let me. <laughs> All right, hold up. Hey, hey, hey. hey you know what? You guys want to do me a favor? You guys want to do me a big favor? You guys want to help? You guys want to help? Okay. Be quiet. <laughs> It's so hard to talk when she's yelling at you. It's like, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the hardest trick that I can with the Chinese yo-yo, but I don't like to go right into it. I like to build up some anticipation. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to throw down a smidgen of that. What? You guys seem like you might like some danger, so a little bit of danger. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little extra. Funky fresh. Under the legs, spin around. Let go of both sticks. Catch you both, but that's not it. Don't clap for that. <laughs> and you were not going to. <laughs> and you guys, you guys are an awesome audience. Seriously, this is so much less pressure than performing for that jury. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hardest trick I got. And then I will explain the science behind the trick. All right, check it out. One. Two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 and my favorite <laughs> trick <laughs> about this trick is Chinese yoga. It tastes like chicken. Alright, here we go. Two Chinese yoga on one string. Years of crippling social isolation. <laughs> and I got some tricks. I'm gonna throw down a handful of tricks. I'm telling you, dude, you're too close. I'm gonna... Yeah, well, it's a <laughs> You better look out, dude. Back, back up, back up, back up. We're gonna do it. Here we go. A couple of quick tricks. In fact, this first trick, though, this is the one that drives the ladies crazy. <laughs> I heard a woo! I, oh, there she is, getting out her pepper spray. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, last trick right here. We'll see if we can do it. We're gonna go through the arms, through the arms, through the arms. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm feeling risky. I'm gonna take it over the top. And then both Chinese, yeah, back up, dude. You're too close. Both Chinese yo-yos as high as I can get them into the air. Yeah. One of those feeling panels on to a child's head. Right here. Still good. Right here. Still good.
Fort Lewis uh, on the shirt. Skyhawks, come on, let's give a little round of applause. Thank you very reasonable. A very, a dollar's not gonna cut a kid. Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> Stand right over here. And, and what's your name? My name, my name, my name is Alex. Can I get a fish ball? Turkey. Alright, no matter. We're gonna do a cool trick together. But before we get to the trick, I like to take guesses about my volunteers. So, Miley, I'm gonna take a guess about you. All you have to do is let me know if my guess is right or let me know if my guess is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say. 10 years old. Boom! Right on the money. Boom! Nobody cares. <laughs> Watch though, I'm gonna do it again. A second guess. A second shh. Gosh, it's like those two old guys in the Muppets. <laughs> Alright, second guess. Let me know if my guess is right or wrong. Okay, here we go. Another guess. I'm gonna say. Girl. That was very funny, about it. All right, stand in front of center, face the audience, make a big T with your body, all right? Like the letter T. Oh, wow. <laughs> this gets me so much better cops before. <laughs> and then my next step, I'm going to have you hold on to these two sharp sticks, all right? So hold on nice and tight over here, hold on nice and tight over there. And then take the two sharp sticks, angle them in towards your eyeballs, and run! Run! No, it's a joke! <laughs> That would, that would not be safe at all. But we, we know who to call if we need a bouncy hunter or something. Girl, it's fearless. And Miley, to make sure things are safe, you get your very own piece of protective gear. And Miley, have you ever gotten a chance to jump around in one of those inflatable bouncy houses before? Yeah, those bouncy castles? Well, you know what? If you wear this thing in there, it is way more exciting. Hold on, strong.
Can we bring the volume down a little bit? I, I gotta save my voice for the other five shows I have to tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> Alright, so check it out. The air coming out of the middle is... <laughs> the air coming out... <laughs> is moving fast. The slow moving air will shape the vortex, right? So if you look at the vortex as it flies out of the hole, all of the air in the vortex is moving in the same direction. So check it out, watch. Yeah. So if you look, if you look really closely, you can see all the air is kind of rotating back on the top. Мы были в школе. Это э, была лекция для детей младших классов э, по физике. А, и проходила она э, в виде э, вот такого циркового представления. Just grab the movement of 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.